Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know about you, but ever since Friends has been on Netflix, I have been obsessed with the 90s. So what I decided to do is to do an entire look based on that grunge 90s trend that's become so trendy now in 2014 and 15. Now I know this look isn't for everyone, but I've been really, really digging it and I never, never, never thought I would because I'm usually into like full glam, glitter everywhere, like nice and put together, like want everything in its perfect place but this is a very messy kind of undone look and even though I don't usually go for that look I'm digging it like a lot is digging like a 90s word I've been saying that a lot <laughs> but yeah before you freak out and you're like Ashley what the hell is on your lips I would never put that on my face ever in my life don't worry <laughs> We're going to do this whole makeup tutorial, including the eyes and the face and all that, but at the end I'm going to give you a whole bunch of options of my favorite 90s trend lip colors. So if you're not into this really, really dark purple, almost black, then don't worry girl, I got lots of options for you. But yeah, I've had this lip color in my collection for a while and, I'm, and I hadn't had the balls to use it until now, so I was like, let me wear it for the video and see how people like it. Ah, it fell! But yeah guys, um, let me not babble on too much longer, I hope you enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up if you do subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you all in my next one bye hello ladies so we're gonna start off by filling in our brows I'm taking my Anastasia brow wiz in soft brown and I don't really know whether they like to fill in their brows in the 90s or not but let's be real I'm not walking out the house without my brows on so I just went and did that quickly and by quickly I mean I took 10 minutes on it and I sped it up a lot during this video so that you wouldn't have to watch it <laughs> thumbs this video up if it takes you forever to fill in your brows too. <laughs> so yeah, I just fill them in with the brow wiz, set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and then after that I went and I went in and took some concealer and just carved them out on that bottom line of the brow. I didn't want them to be too intense, so I just kind of cleaned up the very bottom edge of them with some concealer, but nothing too crazy. And then once that is all blended out, I'm going to start on my face and take the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and then just spray my whole face with it and um yeah, we're using a lot of Smashbox products in this video, well for our face. Then I'm going to go in with Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and press that into the skin because we're going for a very matte skin so I want to take this mattifying primer and then also smooth out my face and make sure our foundation goes on nice and smooth so we're going to press that into the skin with our fingers. And then once that is on, the foundation we're using is the Smashbox Studio Skin, mine is in the shade 1.2 and we're using that with a beauty blender because this is a very matte foundation and although I want a matte finish, I I still have dry skin so I didn't want it to look cakey or anything and the best way to do that is to use a, a damp beauty blender so I'm just putting that all over my skin pressing it in and I'm warning you guys now I'm gonna look like a ghost until the very end of the video but trust me eventually I look very nice <laughs> and then for eyes I'm gonna prime them with my Mac painterly paint pot just rub that in with my fingers um, you can use any primer you want but this one's my favorite so I decided to use this one and then for eyeshadows we're gonna take our Jaclyn Hill favorites palette or you can use whatever shadows you like best or are comparable to these shades. The first one we're using is this nice warm soft brown. We're going to take that on an E40 brush from Sigma and just buff it into our crease as our transition shade. This is a very very messy kind of well obviously grungy look so don't worry about being too precise you just want to buff this out as much as possible and make make sure it's nice and blown out because that's kind of the whole point of this look. So yeah I'm taking my time with this and blending as much as possible so it's as blown out as possible. And yeah, I didn't cut anything out. I basically showed exactly how long I blend this out. <laughs> and then I'm taking a slightly darker warm brown shade. It's like very orangey this shade. I'm taking that on a diffuse crease brush from Sigma. I'm blending it on the outer corner through the whole crease and then on the inner corner as well because you want that darkness kind of to be the whole on the whole eye we're not focusing anything on any specific part of the eye the whole look is going to be kind of unison and dark and grungy and yeah so we're blending that throughout the whole crease and then we're taking that same shade on an E25 brush and just popping that on the lid of the eye. I did it with another brush just because, I don't know, I really don't know why but I liked the effect that it had. So yeah, I'm just taking that on the belly of an E25 brush and buffing that all on the lid. Once again, be super messy. Doesn't matter with this look. <laughs> 
Then I'm taking a black eyeliner. This is Urban Decay's Perversion. And I'm tight lining my eyes with this. We're basically going to be doing a whole rim all around the eye of black eyeliner eventually. But yeah, first we're tight lining it. This is really going to add some volume to the lashes and make your eye look overall darker. And then I'm going to very sloppily um, line the upper lash line. As you can see, I did it very, very sloppily, almost too sloppily. <laughs> and then I'm taking a small smudger brush and blending that out. I'm doing one eye at a time because these liners dry really fast. And then I'm taking that dark brown shade from the um, Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette and I'm buffing that all along that, along that black eyeliner because I didn't want it to be too harsh and so I blended it out with a brown. And then I'm taking that same shade we used in the crease and on the lid and that same E25 brush and also blending that over the eyeliner because I want it to be nice and grungy and smoked out and blown out. So I went on the lid with that and blended it out as much as possible. And then once that is done, oh wait, I'm also doing it on the outer corner just to deepen up the eye, kind of blending that black into the outer corner. And then we're gonna take our concealer. I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and conceal under the eyes because I don't care what decade you live in, dark under eye circles are not a good look. <laughs> so I'm concealing under there. It's not anything lighter or darker than my foundation. I just wanted to conceal, not really brighten or do anything like that. So I'm blending it all out with my damp beauty blender as usual. And then once that is blended out, I'm going to take my uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder and just set it so that it doesn't crease or anything. And then eventually I went in with a big powder brush and set the whole face because once again, we're going for a very matte look because that was very in in the 90s, was a matte skin. And I can see it coming back to trend um, with all the new products that people are releasing in the drugstore and stuff. They're all matte finishes. Um, so now I'm going to take that same eyeliner and line my waterline with it. <clears throat> And the lower lash line is very easy. We're just going to line it with this black eyeliner and then go in with that same medium um, warm brown shade on this Real Techniques Bold Metals um, pencil brush. I can never remember the name of this one. But yeah, just any pencil brush and kind of buff it along that lower lash line and smoke it out. This is going to tie the bottom lash line into the top lid. And yeah, then I went in, put on some... Um, mascara and lashes and now we're gonna warm up the skin because I'm looking like a ghost I basically just mixed all the bronzer shades in the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit on this big powdered brush from the Real Techniques Bold Metals collection and I just went in and warmed up my skin because it was in desperate need of some color <laughs> so yeah I just went all along the forehead on the cheekbones not really contouring just kind of warming up the skin just basically all over the face then I'm taking the Real Techniques contour or flat contour brush from the Bold Meadows collection taking that cool toned contour shade I'm gonna go in and carve my cheekbones we're not using any blush so I definitely wanted to kind of carve out the cheekbones to give it some give the face some shape but we're not using any blush because I don't really know that they liked blush in the 90s um, I, I didn't notice but I, I think this grunge look goes best with no blush and just like bronzer if anything just to warm up the skin and then just because I was feeling a little bit still dead I mixed the two highlight shades the shimmery one and then I think it's vanilla or vanilla and sand I mixed those two on this blush brush and put a light hit of that on the tops of my cheeks and now we're going to move into my favorite 90s lips trends so number one is the Stila stay all day um, lip stain this is in the shade patina this is like the most beautiful mauvey pink kind of neutral everyday 90s lip love it then the second one is a little bit darker and a little bit more warm this is mega last from wet and wild in high pitched wine one of my faves and as you can see i'm feeling this 90s pandora playlist that i had on <laughs> It's the best station ever. Now the next one is also from Wet n Wild. This is Mochalicious. It's very similar to High Pitch Wine, but more brown and less kind of red undertones. And I love it, nice and matte. And then I obviously had to shout out my girl, my fave, Lolita from Kat Von D. It's just gorgeous. The quintessential 90s lip color. You need it in your life. And then after that is going to be this one, which is what I wore in the intro. This is ColourPop's Feminist Lip Color. Oh my god, I'm in love with it. I know a lot of people won't like it, but I love, once again, feeling this music, obviously. <laughs> and then the next one is a classic 90s burgundy lip. It looks a lot darker in person. It's coming off more red, but this is Maybelline's, High, or Maybelline's Divine Wine from the Creamy Mattes collection. And then the last one is this 
classic 90s grunge black lipstick. And this is Chambord in the NYX uh, Macaroon Lippies collection. And that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.